Hey YouTube family, it's your girl, All Things Brie, back with another video. Um, by the title, you already know what's going on today. We have an Dollar Tree Haul 2020 Spring Edition. Um, as always, if you like what you see at the end of this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Um, and of course, if you're not part of the family, hit that subscribe button and join the game. I'm not even going to hold you. We're just going to get straight into it. So let's go. Let me show y'all what I got. Um, let's see where to start. So I've been promising Brayson that we were gonna get some pizza stuff so we could make our own pizza at home. And while I was at the Dollar Tree, I said, I, you know, I ain't never made a pizza at home myself, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So I said, we'll just start off with some little cheap ingredients and see how it goes and, you know, go from there. And I was already at the Dollar Tree, so I was like, might as well get it while I'm here. So the first thing that we got, um, of course, was a pizza crust because you can't have a pizza without a pizza crust. And I was looking at this thing on Pinterest where you can actually make your own dough and like put it around, almost like garlic knots um, with garlic butter. So of course we got a pizza crust. Um, I'm not sure what brand this is, but it came from the Dollar Tree, so. And we just gonna have fun with it. And you can't have a pizza without pizza sauce. I've never used this brand, but like I said, I ain't never used no pizza brand because I've never made a pizza at home. So we just gonna try it out and see how it do. And <laughs> if it work, it work. If it don't, it don't. Um, next thing we got for our pizza, of course, is pepperonis. And now I have had these before because sometimes I put um, pepperonis on top of my baked spaghetti. So I'm familiar with these. And of course, all this stuff was a dollar because it is a Dollar Tree haul. And I had got cheese, um, like mozzarella cheese from Balo. So we're good on the cheese. And then we're gonna put like some green peppers, maybe some mushroom, a little Italian sausage on it. So we can make us a pizza for lunch. And um, if I have time, maybe I'll insert a clip of us making our pizza or even when our pizza is done. Another cool little find that I always seem to find there at the Dollar Tree is A1 Steak Sauce. And this is like a staple in my house because I love T-Bones, I love Cowboy Steaks, so A1 is a must. This, I call it the mini bottle of A1 because it's not the regular size, it's a five ounce bottle. Um, but this works good for me and my family because this is only a dollar and it works. And I eat steak sauce on rolls. I eat it on steak. Sometimes I like it on shrimp. So it is a must to have the A1 in my house. So definitely a pickup I had to get. Um, another thing that I got to help us out with our homemade pizza that we're having is um, a pizza cutter. And this is actually the Betty Crocker brand pizza cutter. It was a dollar, of course. Um, I noticed that I didn't have a pizza cutter because I never made a pizza at home and like I don't really buy the frozen pizzas That's not really me. I like I'd rather just order something online at like Pizza Hut probably Jones or something But yeah, I got a pizza cutter because we got to cut our pizza um, Another thing that we picked up at the tree I call it the tree <laughs> um, Is cream cheese frosting or icing whatever you want to call it i love to make like cupcakes or just cakes randomly and i noticed that we didn't have any cream cheese icing i'm not a baker so i don't make a lot of sweets from scratch um so this this works for me so another thing um another little cool thing i got so for christmas um brayson actually got a grill set like the pretend grill set or whatever and on the side it has like a stove and it has like a pizza oven so he likes to call himself a chef and like cook on his little toy grill with his little play food so I thought it was really cute um, to get him a chef hat so he could be like his own little chef and of course I wasn't gonna get the hat without getting him the apron so I feel like this was a cool little thing um, $4, you know, and it 
stuff like this like make kids happy like i said he loves to cook um he loves to play like in his little play kitchen with his play grill um with the little pizza oven so i think this is gonna be really cool today um for us to make our pizza by the way he skipped school because mama woke up late i was a little raggedy this morning and by the time i woke up i was like it is just way too late for you to go to school so you can just hang out with mama today so that's what we're doing um another good little fawn that's a staple of my house is brillo pads so i'm like a heavy cooker i cook a lot of pastas um a lot of stews just i cook a lot in general so <clears throat> These just work for me, and it's eight in here, and of course they're a dollar, and it's the actual Brillo pan, Brillo brand, <laughs> and um, can't even talk this morning. It's the actual Brillo brand, which was really cool for me. So of course I had to pick these up, um, just to keep the ball rolling. The next few things I got is actually like springy stuff, so. Every year, I like to make Brayson's Easter basket myself and like put my own little special goodies on it and my own little touch. Um, so I want to get a head start on that before the good stuff get gone. So of course, I got some grass like to go at the bottom of the Easter basket, and I got blue and green because I know a theme that I'm going for this year with his Easter basket. Like last year I did Paw Patrol. I think the year before that I did sports and maybe the year before that I did Mickey Mouse. But he's really into like Hulk, the Avengers, um, like Captain America. So I think I'm gonna do like a superhero style Easter basket and um, just do it that way. So that's what made me get the, the blue and the green. And it has like different colors in it also. So it's like predominantly blue. But it has like a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. Same thing with this one. Like it's predominantly green, but it has a few other colors in it too. So I thought this was like a really cool thing for the basket. Um, another thing I got was this coloring paint set. So he's actually in a preschool program now. So he's really big into like painting and coloring and different little things like that. So I felt like this was like very age appropriate. It's nine pieces, so of course it comes like with the paint, the little brushes, and I think it comes with like two little stencils for him to paint. Just something for him to do, you know, when we're hanging out or just chilling at the house, nothing too serious. And it kind of, it's the same thing on the back. It's just a regular little coloring paint set. So yeah, pretty cool. Um. And it wouldn't be Easter if you didn't die Easter eggs. So this is a egg tray. But it's shaped like a little bunny. And I thought this was just too cute. And my favorite color is purple. So I feel like this was very appropriate. They have this in purple and in green. Um, but of course, I bought the purple one because I love pastels in the spring. And like I said, purple is my favorite color. So I picked up the purple one. And of course, to dye those eggs, you have to have a dyeing kit. Now, <laughs> this right here is like so sentimental to me because when I was a kid, um, my mom worked a lot. So I spent a lot of time with my grandparents and my grandma made it tradition for like me to come to her house. Not just me, but like all her grandkids to come over and like dye Easter eggs for Easter and just hang out and have a good time. So like. This is a tradition that I want to try and keep alive for my kids and my great grandkids or grandkids in the future. Um, so it was essential that, of course, I got me a egg dyeing kit. And look who just came downstairs. Come here, baby. <laughs> you gonna say hello to the vlog? Turn around. Say hello to the vlog. Say hey, YouTube family. Go say it. Hey. Hey. That's all you got to say. Hey. Okay. Um. Anyways. So, um, another thing that I got was these 
basket bags. There's two in a the pack, they're clear. They did have some that had writing on them like Happy Easter, um, different little things like that. Like I said, it's two in a pack and of course I got these because I like to make his Easter basket every year. I have a basket that I use year after year and I, of course I just put different content in it but I like to put the plastic on it and put the big bow on it and um, yeah, just kind of like do it like that. So. I definitely needed these and sometimes I like to make um, my cousin's daughter a basket so it's great that it was a two pack because I might make her one too. These are actually for Brayson's great grandparents so he is very close to his dad's grandma and he's very close to my grandma. Um, his dad's grandma, she actually helps us out quite a bit with picking him up from school um, because me and his dad both work crazy schedules. So I thought this was really, um, really cute for both of his great grandmas. Um, it's like a very, I guess you could say like semi-religious thing because my grandma and um, his dad's grandma are both really religious, really big into church. And it says rejoice in the wonder of the day. And it's like a milk chocolate cross. And then on the inside it says like happy easter but cute little butterflies and then on the back you can put like to and from so i thought this would be really cute for um both his great grandmas so yeah i got those and um just a little something to put in there this is really cute also um it's a, it says Happy Easter, and then it says Bob and Bundy's with candy. I don't know if these are like jelly beans or little chocolate candy, but it's like a little bobblehead thing. So this is something that I'll put in his basket also. Um, this is a bunny ball shooter. So it has like a little bunny in it, and his I guess that's his nose. It's like an opening and it has a little ball so you put the ball in his nose and like squeeze it and it like shoots out he's a boy so he's into like crazy little stuff like this it's not nothing too serious but i feel like it would be kind of cute to go in there so you literally oh my finger so you literally well i can't do it because it's in the pack but basically when you take it out you put the little ball in his nose and like press his belly and the ball shoots out so i feel like this was like a cute little find for him also last but definitely not least so let me give y'all a little background knowledge if you don't know if you don't know me in my personal life and you just follow me on youtube my child loves cookies like from the day that he got his first little tooth he has always been a cookie monster his favorite snack of choice is like cookies chocolate chip macadamia nut oatmeal it doesn't matter what it is he loves cookies like do you hear me he loves cookies so when i seen this girl like I had to buy this it is a basically it's a cookie shaped like a bunny but this is right up his alley I wanted to get a few of them but they only had this one but that'll work because like I said this is right up his alley and I think this is just like oatmeal um, which is okay because he likes all kind and it's all wrapped up and yeah I think this is gonna be his favorite thing out of all the stuff that I put in his <laughs> Out of all the stuff that I put in his basket, I'm pretty sure this is going to be his favorite one. Um, so that really like concludes my Dollar Tree Haul Spring Edition. Some stuff was like springy Easter and some wasn't. I plan on going to another Dollar Tree today, today sometime. Lord, I can't even talk. I plan on going to another Dollar Tree today just to see what kind of other things they have. I want to try to get some eggs. Um, and just do like some little decor around the house, maybe like a candy dish, put some jelly beans in it. I want to see if I can find some stuff to make like a cute little spring dory or a little doormat. Um, of course, if I find it, I will make a part two. If not, this concludes this video. Like I said, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.